Well, who doesn't need a little extra inspiration in their life? And the director of the movie, Little Red Wagon, is taking that longing for inspiration and living it out on the big screen, sharing the true story of a little boy, six years old, in fact, when he started Zach Bonner and his quest to change the world with nothing more than a driving spirit to serve and a beat up old red wagon. He's with us this morning, Zach, that is, and he's 14 now, and we welcome you to the show. Oh, thanks for having me. Thanks for, for coming all the way from Florida to, to here um, as we um, show your movie today for the first time ever. Yeah, we, uh, we're, we're excited to release in Arizona. Um, we were here a couple years back, so it's, it's good to be back. Well, tell me a little bit about this mission with your red wagon. You're sporting the red shoes, kind of just I, I to, to support the cause. But tell me about this organization and, and really the genesis of it. Um, well, um, you know, we, we started back in 2004 with Hurricane Charlie. Uh, just um, I started by raising food and water and supplies for the victims. And it was kind of after that project that I learned about uh, the over 1.3 million homeless youth in the United States. And, um, so from there, we started developing some of our projects, uh, that our backpack program, which is uh, where we distribute backpacks filled with uh, you know, food and personal hygiene and other basic supplies to homeless youth all across the country. Uh, and also, um, in 2007, we started our walks. And so in this video that we're seeing right here, this is from the movie that people can see tonight at Superstition Harkins Theater, and we're seeing those backpacks being passed out, and, we're, and it's really just your story played out on TV. Yeah. It must be a little bit... Uh, humbling to see something that just came so organically as a little kid. I mean, you, there's there's no preconceived ideas when you're six years old and you just want to help yeah. to see it play out on screen. Yeah, it's um, you know it's exciting for us. It's, it was about six or seven years that they approached us about it, and um, you know, so it's just it's great to kind of finally have it put out on screens where people can see it. You know, we had some great people working on it. We had director David Answa, who directed Rudy and Hoosiers, who um, you know directed the movie for us. We had Patrick Duncan, who wrote Mr. Allen's Opus. Uh, who wrote the screenplay for the movie. We had Anna Gunn, who plays on Breaking Bad. Uh, wow. You know, she's great. She played my mom. We just had some really incredible people uh, working on the movie. Did you feel like it was a, a great adaptation of, the, of your true story? Um, yeah, we were really happy with the way that it turned down. Um, and another it thing, has to get Hollywood a little bit. It, it sure. does. They, uh, they dramatize a little bit, especially with my sister. Um, uh, in the movie, they make her a little bit meaner than she actually is in real life. But, um, you know, and one of the things that isn't shown in the trailer uh, that people won't know about unless they go and see the movie is there's also a B story about a homeless family uh, that's kind of a parallel story uh, with ours. And, um, and anyways, it's just it's a mother and a son that kind of uh, one thing happens and they just spiral into homelessness and it's kind of their journey of, um, you know, of climbing out of homelessness while we are kind of, you know, while we're actually, you know, walking to bring awareness to homelessness. What would you like to see um, kind of as the legacy of this movie um, as people go to watch it this weekend? Uh, really the hope for, um, the, the hope that we have for this movie is to show people that it doesn't matter, you know, how old or how young you are, you know, you don't have to have money to make a difference, you just have to have the desire to do something. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're really hoping um, that it'll encourage a lot of people to get involved with, uh, you know, youth homelessness. And, uh, you know, also, um, you know, just uh, we, we hope that, you know, that people just really enjoy the movie and, you know, tell everyone about it so that we can continue to, uh, to use the movie to bring a lot of awareness to homeless youth. Uh, tell me your website so people can log on. It's uh, lrwf.org uh, and then go to littleredwagonthemovie.com and that has show times and locations and all kinds of stuff about the movie. Zach, so. fantastic. I wish you the best of luck as the Little Red Wagon gets into a big red wagon right. <laughs> in, in, in the years ahead.